One of our first activities right after orientation was the Global Mobile Challenge. Um, and it was actually the first time that we met our learning teams. Um, and I remember walking into the room and all of us kind of checking each other out and seeing like, okay, who are these, who is this group of eight people we're gonna be working with for the rest of the year? SOM designs the program so that you are divided into groups of teams. Uh, starting from eight or nine people and you are very close to it with these team members you are doing projects together you are uh, preparing homeworks together and you you have a chance to put your ideas together and bring the best out of this this group here right upon arrival we started our managing groups and teams course we were forced in a very condensed window to do this intensive uh, four to five day long course where we were doing all team-based exercises and so it forced us to sort of work with each other in a way that you might not normally have to in a traditional work environment. We were put in situations where they were trying to deliberately push our buttons, um, create some conflict, because that's going to happen no matter what you're doing in any setting, and it's really how you resolve it that matters. Managing groups and teams, first and foremost, was like a warm-up for your team, um, and getting used to that before they put us into the, the first year core courses in fall one. Everyone has a different background, so everything from nonprofit to tech to financial services to business analytics. Uh, military. On my learning team of four, I'm actually both the only woman and the only American-born student. When we have group assignments, that means um, we can attack problems together much more effectively than we would on our own, um, understand different approaches to the same problem, sometimes an approach that might work better than the way that you were initially going to approach a problem by yourself. While doing homework and uh, like an assignment, we can actually provide lots of very different perspectives about the same situations, especially those related to some like cultural background. We can help each other to understand the situation better. At first, it was very, I'm good at the finances, you're good with the statistics, you do this, I'll do that. After about maybe three or four weeks of doing that, I think we realized that what we're here at business school for is to learn from each other. And so rather than just taking what we're good at and working on that, how can we help our classmates and help our, our small learning team members get better at things that they're not good at. Teamwork doesn't have to be only a deliverable. It can also be how to create a better environment for everyone in order to keep evolving. Because once you start working with people and you create this environment of not competitiveness, but like relationship and solidarity, it works way better. Many of these people have become my, my closest friends here. And I think we, uh, even though we've broken down now into these two sub teams, we still you know, do group dinners as a whole with the full team. Um, I think when we're able, we still like to discuss uh, projects together. And um, you know, those are the people that you kind of met first. And I, I think a lot of those relationships stick with you. When we, when we leave SOM, we're going to be working in, in groups. And I mean, I guess a lot of the M MBA education traditionally has been focusing on personal developments. But you really do need to have those interpersonal skills. They're, they're absolutely crucial. The one thing that I've learned about uh, while working at Yale SOM is that you know I'm, I'm worth so much more when I'm in a strong team.